Hi everybody! Okay, I'm going to get started on this. I'm not expecting a lot of people because this is my first stream, so it's good news because I can look dumb and it's totally fine. <laughs> so, uh, introductions. My name is Angela Yi. I am the creator of an audio drama called Residents of Perserpina Park. We are currently on season three. That's why we are doing this today because uh, I need a schedule to get my voice actors together again. <laughs> uh, Residents of Persephone Park is a audio drama focused on mythological creatures with a story as wild as the past. Uh, clearly, I've said this multiple times, so if you haven't seen it, please check it out. We do talk a lot about creatures from all over the world, and we have a fun, goofy Scooby gang who uh, tries not to die or get eaten by them, which is always fun. <laughs> uh, so, why am I making a schedule for an audio drama? I know some people like to do, um, we're all virtual now, so it's very easy to ask a voice actor to be like, hey, can you record some of these lines and uh, be done with it? But I just feel like as a voice actor myself, it's not fun to do it like that. And it's also, I mean, obviously, if you're a seasoned professional, you can easily, you know, it's what you do for a as a living, but it's a hobby for me right now and my whole purpose is to have fun. Oh, hi, thank you so much uh, for thinking this is a wonderful idea. Hopefully it truly is. <laughs> uh, I feel like my audio is cutting in and out, which is not good, um, but hopefully it's not. Yes, hopefully it's not. Um, but back to it, the reason why I think group recording is better is just because it's just more fun. It's more natural as well. If you're working with uh, newer people into voice acting or audio drama production in general, it's just nice to have a, a company to work with, basically, which is always fun. And as a director as well, it's if, if you're also starting out as a director, it's also much easier to hear the whole picture if you actually have the whole cast with you. Uh, which is why I really think group recording, um, obviously we can't do it, well, I guess we can do it in person now, but it's much more expensive. Uh, so I still think virtual group recording is the best way to go with that. Um, and so I know I, we are here to talk about scheduling, but before we can get to scheduling, we have to talk about scenes. Um, why do we have to talk about scenes first? Making a schedule, um, my boss said this before, <laughs> and my boss has said this multiple times, where it's, it's, we're basically, we have a puzzle and we need to put it all together, right? Well, the scenes are the puzzle pieces. So we need to collect all the puzzle pieces first before we can actually complete the puzzle. Um, if you have final draft, it is very easy to just, like I'm dropping out um, but I personally don't think you need final draft uh, it is very expensive for something you can do for free <laughs> uh, but it is to say you know I am taking the time now to to make this so time versus money I guess it's up to you on what you decide to do so I am first and foremost going to go and break down what a scene breakdown is <laughs> Uh, as you can see, clearly the first three columns are self-explanatory. You have the episode number, the scene number, and the characters. Also, side note, if you actually are familiar with my show, um, there aren't any spoilers. I have listed new characters. Uh, I've, init I've gave them initials, so the only spoiler you'll know is what episode people are in, hopefully. That's not a spoiler. I mean, I guess it is, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so 
back to my list because of course I have a list for everything. Uh, I also want to talk about characters. Characters in a scene breakdown is important because it is important to know who is in what scene. Very obvious. Uh, oh, I want to talk about, this is why I have a list, is um, scheduling wise. Uh, I have seen some people interested in hiring SAG voice actors or voice, SAG talents. And there are definitely pros and cons between hiring non-union versus union. Um, SAG obviously is more expensive, but they, on the plus side, they work on your time. Basically, like if you have a set schedule, uh, they'll only, you'll only agree to hire them because they're free and, or not free available <laughs> free in that sense uh to work um and obviously they should be more experienced in voice acting so maybe if you can't do group ensemble um you can hire a real professional and they will get it done for you much quicker probably um but if you don't mind non-union um the only i guess the biggest downside is typically you have to work with their time because everyone is working on their side gigs and their main gigs and all their gigs. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this is what we like to do. So sometimes it can be a struggle finding a schedule that works for everybody, but I don't know. I think it's a great idea in the long run if you can get everybody together and be one big happy family. <laughs> the next thing, uh, the next tab is scene headers or scene heading uh, basically the location of where your characters are in each scene the reason why this is important um, it's basically just instead of having the whole script in front of you you can just literally be like okay where are we okay Mina is already in the end cool I know where she is at this point in time in the story I don't need to go to scene four on episode 21 in the script to find out what is happening hopefully um, you know, I say this a lot that even though I write things, I <laughs> don't remember what I wrote. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is enough to help me jog my memory. <laughs> if you need to, uh, to make additional tab and have like scene description, um, you could do that as well. But hopefully a scene heading is enough uh, so that you don't have to constantly look at the script to know what's going on. The next tab we are going to look at is page length. Um, this is important because that correlates with how much time you think you're going to need to record your production. Uh, for me, I have found that 10 pages is about 40 minutes of recording time. This is pretty fast, <laughs> at least uh, from what I've experienced, this is pretty fast, but this is because this is our third season. Our voice actors are very familiar with who the characters are, and um, they're also familiar with their mic. Like a lot of the times uh, when we're hiring someone, it's just like, okay, do you actually know how to use your mic? Uh, because I will need to sit down with you and discuss how to use it if you don't. <laughs> and um, People say they know how to use their mics, but that may not often be the case, which is like, there's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer you be upfront about it so I can walk you through it um, because then the whole process is a lot easier. But even, I mean, like, I feel like I'm struggling with my mic right now. Um, so technology loves to screw with us. So it's always, uh, I'm gonna talk about this later, but it's always good to uh, add um, some buffer in between in case technology does decide to be rude. Um, but like I said, it, there is some math happening here. Uh, I'm probably also rounding a bit so that the numbers look a bit nicer because um, Mirai, her lines are quite short. So even though I'm like, yes, it takes one minute for her to, to do her uh, scene four, probably won't actually I mean like it takes on like a couple minutes to set up your mic so that's clearly not true <laughs> um uh so there is some um estimating happening here <laughs> um but yeah it's it's good to have a rough estimate so that you know later on when you actually make the schedule how long um your session's going to be I am aiming for one to an one to an hour and a half 
hour session an hour and I don't know why I said one hour an hour to an hour and a half session yes um because like I said we all got side gigs and we got things to do um let's see have I covered everything quickly oh uh okay I do want to talk about that important to know how much time yes Cool. Okay. So before I continue working on this, and if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for the comment. I just saw it. Um, I hope, well, I feel like, okay, I hope they are thankful for this, but also it gives me peace of mind to know that like, I have a plan, you know, <laughs> it's just nice to, to know what's going on. <laughs> Um, tip for beginners, this is, I guess, probably more from a writer, producer, director standpoint. If you are just starting out, like my season one, my episodes had like at most three characters and now there's a bunch of them. Um, so if it's daunting to you to do all this, I would recommend starting with less characters. Um, have more structured episodes. I So I still do this where Mirai is always the beginning and the end of each episode because she kind of recaps and reminds the audience of what's going on in the episodes. Um, she has her own uh, episode coming up, episode 27, which will be all pretty fun. Um, but yeah, my episodes are very structured because um, it's easier that way. <laughs> Some people don't like that, which I understand. Um, but it works out in the long run for me to have that. So if you're a beginner writer, producer, director, I would say less characters, more structured scenes, and obviously just less, um, writing. <laughs> uh, my episodes are like 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, oh, which is also, um, it, so it doesn't matter how you write your scene, your script as well. I do loosely um, do scripted formatted on Google Docs. Um, I don't bother changing the font or anything like that, but it is like how you would imagine a script would look um, because with this format, um, it's been, I believe it's like somewhere online or something like that, but roughly one page in this format is like one minute of content. So. My scripts are usually 10 to 15 pages an episode, which is also roughly how long an episode is, 10 to 15 minutes, give or take, plus with the promos and credits and stuff like that, which are added later, and I'm too lazy to write them down. <laughs> uh, okay, and before I start right, uh, finishing this, because um, I wrote these episodes a long time ago and I don't think this is accurate anymore. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to remind people the reason why I am streaming today is because we are campaigning for season three of Residents of Persephone Park. Uh, if you go right now onto Indiegogo, you can just search, I believe, so at least Residents of Persephone Park. It will be, or even if, I'm sure you just type in Persephone Park or something like that. Um, it'll be the first thing you see. Yay! Uh, we have 17 days left and, uh, we need your help, clearly. <laughs> uh, I wrote this whole beautiful essay about why you should support us. Um, long story short, you know, we've been doing this for over a year. We have over 20,000, 25,000 downloads. Um, so... And I've been doing this alone for so long that I would like to hire other people in production to um, come work along with me. And also, like I said, um, we have a lot of new characters um, in season three that I would like to, to hire. Um, and yeah, it just would really help us make things better. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you can't, add to the campaign, no big deal. 
Uh, but please uh, share. I don't know if you can like Indiegogo's. Oh, I guess you can follow. I don't know if that does anything. But um, share with your friends and family. Share with your strangers. Share with other audio drama fellows out there. Um, and get the word out. Yes. And I hate that my face is the first thing you see. But that's YouTube logic for you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we are 20 minutes in, and I'm going to finish the rest of the scene breakdowns that I need for this. Oh, sorry, there are more people here. Do oh, hi. Thank you guys for popping in. Wait, hold on. Sorry, I am very new to stream Twitch, so <laughs> I'm just going to read all these comments first. I went to a convention and listened to one of the top audio drama directors in the world recommend that people do the exact thing. Oh, cool. Uh, the Shadow Remake, do you know which director it was and uh, which con, actually? I would love to go. Um, I know podcast movement. Well, there was drama podcast movement, but uh, I, I guess I should go to podcast movement. <laughs> The California one, clearly not the Texas one. Um, you, yo, what it do? You were on our Discord, just showing support. Thank you, M Race two 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 three. And then Arthur Draconi, which I know is Sam. Hi, <laughs> thank you for being like the best fan uh, any series can ask for. Uh, do you record with everyone together physically, or does everyone record remotely? Oh, okay. I'll answer that question next. Let me just answer. Uh, Sam's question first. So um, we originally were a local production, um, but it has expanded with season two and probably with season three. So um, even though I would like to record in person, I mentioned this before, it is very expensive, first of all. And also, unfortunately, um, we or not unfortunately, I, I, I want to hire people from all over the world. <laughs> um, people are all over. I think I just have, no, Jess is Canadian. Okay, I have United States and Canada right now um, who are in uh, my production. So I would prefer to stick virtual. Sorry, that took way too long to answer that question. Uh, Mrace2223, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, or it might be Mrace2223. <laughs> uh, do you need people to audition? Yes, I have been saying this for so long that I would put up the casting call, and I swear I will put up the casting call. Um, when I am working on this later, you can, uh, I've mentioned this a couple times already now, but uh, we have a lot of creatures I'd like to introduce to y'all. Season three, they are all currently initialed creature D, creature D, creature S, um, creature, no, that's D. We have a few more, I think. Yeah, like I said, I still haven't finished uh, figuring this out. <laughs> um, John Fornoff, I hope I'm pronouncing that name, last name correctly. Sonic Con. Oh, snap. I didn't know Sonic Con had audio dramas. Okay. Um, I need to look that up. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I feel like there aren't, I mean, there are conventions and I did drama people show up there, but I feel like there aren't a lot of Mr. Ace. Sorry, I am so scattered right now. Yes, uh, I would, conventions are great. I hope to go to some and hopefully maybe listen to more of John Fornoff if he's at some of these cons. Um, but Mr. Ace makes a lot of sense. I don't know why I, that did not commute in my brain. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, but I hope that answered your question. Oh, and I should probably say where to find the casting call. Um, if you found me through Discord, I'll probably post on that Discord. Uh, if not, you can follow us on Twitter at Persephone Park. Um, and I also use Casting Call Club. So if you have a you will probably see it up there um, when I eventually do it. Planning is tough, y'all. This, <laughs> this, this is why I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you have any more questions, I am here, but I am going to work on finishing the rest of this. Then that way I can convert all these puzzle pieces into what will then be the 
production calendar. Yeah, Custom Call Club is really great. Uh, I haven't been on it in a while. It's, I'm not going to lie. I, I used to like audition a lot for people, but then it just got so hot. And summers are just brutal for voice actors. I don't know how y'all are doing it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, need, I need a fan in my life. It's not going to work out. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, hopefully I'll audition more in the fall. And... I will post the audition in, in before, well, I guess it's already, no, I have a few more weeks until fall. Yes, I will post my costing call. Yes, probably texting it would be better. Uh, pros oh, I also, also side note, um, I forgot where I listened to this from, but there apparently is like research about like naming your audio drama. Um, everything's like all data now. Um, which is like annoying cause to be like part of a statistic um, but apparently like if your audio drama has like murder or blood or like something like that like statistically it it's more eye-catching and will do well and meanwhile here I am with uh, residents of Persephone Park <laughs> um, but c'est la vie uh, I like it it's a little I didn't think about how medical terming it might, it might have sound but too late now. <laughs> Three seasons in, can't change it now. <laughs> uh huh. So I am working on episode twenty six at the moment. Uh, I did spell that right, right? P R O S E R P I N A P A R K. Yes. Okay. Um. Or maybe sh should I talk about? No, I can talk. About, I can talk about that later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, this is wrong. <laughs> Mirai is still by herself in the local library. Uh -huh. Let's find the page. Yeah, totally. Oh, do you mind to let me know which Discord um, you found this from? And if you want, you can like DM me your or uh, at Twitter. You can DM me um, if you have a demo reel or um, your casting call club profile. I think you can do that now. Um, up to you. Cafe where Drew works at. Let's see. Six point five. Oh my gosh. Okay. You've helped me out a ton as well. Wow. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> uh yes, we should talk. You also have an audio drama coming out soon, right? I feel like I think I saw a trailer or something. It's a short episode. Oh, congratulations! Oh, I can't wait to hear it. It was a, correct me if I'm wrong, pirates or pirate looking. <laughs> or if you want, I mean, you might as well, sh you might as well, um, I mean, not, I don't know how many views this will get, but you might as well share. Um, uh, my chat stream is public, so might as well share a link or share the title, get that out there for the other couple of people who are here. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is where Daichi comes back. Okay, it is actually already almost 8.30. Maybe I should switch to scheduling. Not finish 27 first. Because that's the easy one. <laughs> where there's only like three voice actors. <laughs> She broke it down. Okay, that should be enough to work with seven episodes. <laughs> okay, uh, oh. So just to get back with John, um, because he has an awesome show coming out, if you can see the link, um, I'll also share it on Twitter, why not? <laughs> um, but invictimdigital.com. Um, I listened to the trailer a while ago and I really liked it, so I'm really excited for this one. Uh, and then back to Sam. Um, actually, you know what? I'm so sorry I didn't ask if Sam was okay to call you by. Um, I will go back to Arthur Draconi just in case. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, if both ways when it comes to names, I've heard that having a show. Um, sorry, I, I saw the name name and I thought about that. Uh, back to back to what you were saying. Uh, both ways when it comes to names, I've heard that having a show whose names has a lot of frequently used words can hurt you too. For example, I was told that tales is a word to avoid when it comes to naming an anthology show. That's so interesting. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Sam, I should have asked. Um, I guess, yeah, I, I can definitely see that working both ways. I remember last year I actually did a um, audio drama tropes bingo card. And it was just like, if yeah, if your show had the name Tales or like um, the records or the tapes, like anything like that, or like that's a trope, you get one, one bingo. Uh, point right there. <laughs> uh, it, I can see why it can get very confusing, um, but th that is also something that people draw their eyes to. Um, I know the found 
footage trope is fading in that sense. Um, but I think people still like to say tapes and tales and stuff like that. Um, and I guess also it, uh, it, it can also help you out with like anthology, like the fact that, you know, it's an anthology in the title itself with tales is also probably why people still do it. Um, but yeah, I can see why you could say both ways. Um, oh, thank you so much. I'm surprised I actually don't follow you. <laughs> it's it's weird. Like, I actually know Arthur Draconi from Twitter, and I I know you from Discord, and it's weird that, um... oh, bye. Uh, how I communicate with people on very different apps. But yes, I'm very excited to listen to new stuff um, because I don't know something about fall. I know spooky season as well. People love scary audio dramas. Um, I am a big wussy, so I go back and forth whether I like them or not. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it definitely makes me want to listen to more audio dramas when it gets a little cooler and darker out. So I am very excited to listen.